Hello everyone, I am back. It is toaster time. Uh, it's been a week since I last streamed anything. <laughs> uh, work has been uh, a little bit rough. I didn't know I had speech to text turned on. That scared me. <laughs> uh, that's awesome, thanks for Oh my gosh, everyone is going to be resubbing, I think. Dang, that's awesome. Thanks, Squin. Thanks, uh, Apollo. This is great. Uh, we're off to a great start today. Uh, it's been a week since I last streamed because I had a lot of work stuff to deal with. Uh, and I still have work stuff to deal with this week, but I am doing my absolute best to make sure that I make time for everyone and uh, get some good stream, stream in for us all. So uh, let's... Let's do uh, our best to finish Fatal Frame 3 tonight because I want to play a different game. <laughs> I want to I want to be done with this uh, as much as I like it. I just uh, I'm really excited to try the Dead Space remake and I would like to play that next. So uh, where are we? Where where were we? Uh, we just made it out of the Manor of Sleep with Ray. That is her name. Um, we decided to take a break for the night. We're on chapter nine. Um, let's see. Or I guess we should say, I should say we just finished chapter nine. I think that's correct. Um, for the most part, I think the pieces are finally coming together. Uh, Ray has gotten in contact with Kay, Mio's uh, uncle, um, and has, has mentioned to him that she wants him to keep exploring the manner of sleep, and Miku is the same way. Miku is also exploring the manner of sleep. Uh, as far as we know, there seems to be some kind of relation between the manor and... Ooh, Ooh thanks for resubbing, Narik. We love that. Hype train incoming. Wow, we got a hype train going. Nice. Ooh, why is my... Why, why is the game acting very strange? Uh, interesting. <laughs> Performance just tanked. Um, let's see, where else were we? Um, we, is there anything here? Oh, you know what? I think I already did this. Yeah, I did. I saw this before. Let me just make sure I don't have any film to develop first. I think we'll be fine. Uh, but anyway, at this point, everything is coming to a close. We know there's something going on with the the princesses, not the princess, the priestess of the manor, um, that the master craftsmen basically created an entire home around her um, and prevented her from leaving as like some sort of human sacrifice. Uh, this last time around, we ended up, I think, defeating some of the master craftsmen. And now all we have left, I think, is to... Uh... Oh my God, that was Miku. That startled me so much. <laughs> Where did you come from, Miku? Were you just outside in the rain? <laughs> Uh, lately, a lot of things from my childhood have been coming back to me. Uh, re recently, this has all been happening. Interesting. So yeah, uh, now we are, uh, I guess, just going to go to sleep. Hey, we did it. We made it to a level one hype train. Nice work, everyone. Good job. There's a good toast pot for measure. Ah. Hmm. That was intriguing. All right, let's go. Let's uh, continue, because now we just we just have to keep playing. We just have to get through the game. <laughs> I've been waiting to play more of this. You, none of you have any idea. I have been, I have been so ready to play more Fatal Frame. Uh, 
Let me just double check something really quick. Just want to make sure I'm not on some weird uh, plugin version that's like making it run poorly. No, yep, looks like it's all good. Seems fine. All right. All right. Uh, with K, let's see. K only has uh, slow, and his camera's really weak, right? Um, that's the only thing I remember about him. Dang, I missed that. There's always this herbal medicine that spawns right here, so. Which direction am I facing? Oh, the whole room layout changed. Makes it hard to do this. Let's see. Oh, I shouldn't have used this film. Oops. Alrighty, that's not, uh, that's not awful. It's not the worst thing that's ever happened. Huh. All right, um. Editing a setting really quick. Making sure things are working correctly. Cool. Uh, all right, so now we will just, I guess, do our best to move for, oh crap. She's actually in here. Where is she? Did I get it? Oh, I did. Perfect. Apollo says, sick new outfit. Thanks. Oh, my gosh. Why is the game chugging so much today? This is really weird. I'll have to investigate that in a minute. There she is. Splinter asks, do I use an NVIDIA graphics card? Yes, I have a 2080, but uh, it hasn't been an issue in the past, and I haven't updated my drivers, so I think I, maybe there was just a setting that got toggled somewhere. Shouldn't be too big of a deal to take care of in a second once I'm done with this fight, because I am almost done with this fight. Whoa, what even hit me? Must have been one of her, like, projectiles or whatever. Where is she? Where are you, lady? Ah, oh, you're somewhere in here. Recent Discord update throttles NVIDIA GPUs. I see. Uh, I will turn off Discord in just a moment. Just put up with me for just a sec while we... Uh, kill this lady. Well, I mean, I guess she's already dead, right? While we take care of this lady's ghost. Oh, no. I didn't realize I did not kill her yet.
dianthus key. Where did the dianthus key go? Huh. Yeah, it seems like it was maybe just Discord being open that caused that. I don't know. A mirror on the mirror stand is shattered, and fragments of broken glass lie scattered around. The drawer seems to be locked. Okay, interesting. There's a small keyhole inscribed with a holly pattern. Oh, we already knew about that part. All right, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Let's do what we can here. Uh, where did the Dian Where where did I use the Dianthus key? Was it actually up here? Was it in? No, because this is a barred room up here, right? Uh. Hmm. It's got to be like right around here, because there's only like one or two. Uh. There's only like one or two rooms around here that don't, that are unlocked. Oh, here we go. This is the Dianthus design. Okay, we're good. Dianthus key, you open the lock with the Dianthus key. Perfect. Oh, I can't have any more stone mirrors. I already have too many. Dang. Mmm. Mmm. Don't like that at all. Don't like that one bit. Uh, is there anything in there that I have to interact with? The floor of the room is broken, revealing the open mouth of an old well. The wind is whistling up from the well. Sounds like someone or something crying. At my feet, a sacred boundary rope surrounds the well. Maybe this well has some kind of special significance? <laughs> What's up with these characters only having like one stone mirror pocket? Yeah, I don't get it. I wish I could carry uh, I wish I could carry so many more because it would just make it easier. <laughs> I mean, not necessarily easier, but just like I wouldn't have to run back and forth to get them because that's all I'm really doing. That's all I have been doing. Uh, let's see. Let's see, where do I want to go from here? Oh yes, this is the camera button. I forgot, camera is mapped to left trigger, uh, which is a very, or not camera, sorry, map is mapped to, to left trigger, which is very odd, <laughs> uh, very odd layout. All right. Uh, I guess we can go to the garden corridor, right? Because uh, we just opened that door. Uh, with Ray, right? So we can go do that. Is that the right way? Yes. So, ah. Something funky's going on. What's the funky thing going on? Hmm. That's not the way we want to go. Oh, I should probably go and, like, for example, get the Type 14 film that always spawns. Uh, go and get... Oh, there's a... Uh, her. I hate that. hate everything about that. I do not want to fight her again. 
Uh, yeah, that's a big. That's gonna be a big no from me. All right. Um, if we go, I can't. I think it's called the Tatami Room. Isn't that over? No, but we do want to go to the blind room at some point because that's where a bunch of stuff spawns for us, and that would be really nice to have. Hall with Tatami, also good for us because there's equipment there. So let's go. I'm just going to really quickly go and, and pick up all the stuff. Um, all the stuff that is just like kind of laying around every single time I start a new little run. Or every single time I start a new chapter, I should say, just so that we have resources. Shouldn't be too hard. Alright, it should be this way, I think, right? I think so. Oh, look at that. I still remember how to play this game. I remember where things are. I think a ghost will be in here, but I can just ignore him. Type 14 film. Perfect. Now, how do I get back to the blind room? Where is that? Not there. It's here. Yes. So, we just have to go around, I guess. Right? This way. I guess I can go to the projection booth as well and grab a Type 14 film there. Oh, no, I went the wrong way. Well, I guess technically not the wrong way. I just took the long way around the room. All right, here we go. And for the most part, I think I'm just going to run away from stuff in here. Like, if there's any ghosts that appear or whatever, like, there's no point in me actually fighting them. Because why would I? What's the point? <laughs> However, we do want the herbal medicines, and we do most importantly want the film, because uh, K does not do a lot of damage, which is really bad for us. And then once I finish uh, in the projectionist room, I will uh, go ahead and go into that door that we unlocked with Ray. I think that's a good, like, plan of attack. It should just be right across the hall from here. At least I think. <laughs> I think we should be good. Yes. Okay. All right, perfect. Oh, shoot, I went through the wrong door. So how's everyone, how's everyone been doing in the week I have had off? Anything fun going on? All I've really done is work and watch TV because that's like the only thing I have the energy to do after work. <laughs> All right. Let's see, we'll just save our game really quick so we don't need to repeat all that nonsense. And this just gives us a, a starting position, I guess, if we need to reload. Perfect.
What is this? The air is so heavy. It's like some sort of miasma. I can't feel some or I can feel something odd in the air around me. That which lies sealed within the manner of sleep, that which lies on the other side of the rift. What could possibly be inside here? I've got to do something about this miasma. The explanation of the purifying light has been added to the files. Purifying light? Tattoo bruise. Every time I dream of the house, the bruise, the tattoo gets bigger. Oh, we've already read this. Snake in the holly pattern. Like my longing for you. Gotcha. Okay. Missing in Minakami. According to what Miku found out from the papers, the girl in Kay's dream was his niece, Mio. A couple months ago, Mio and her twin sister, Mayu, went missing. Mio was found alone about a week later. Several other people have gone missing from around Minakami, and there are rumors that they've been spirited away. That makes sense. All right. It said that there were... Oh, it means in, like, the start menu. Gotcha. Uh, text, other, map of the mark. We've technically read all these. Where's the purifying light? Come on. Here we go. When your condition becomes miasmatic, when colors become monochrome, even more dangerous ghosts will be attracted to you. If you get the purifying light, your condition will return to normal while it is lit. If you can find the purifying light scattered about the manor, you can replenish your light. However, you cannot stock up on the light. If you go back to the real world, it will be fully replenished. Okay. That's like a just a straight up new mechanic to just introduce out of nowhere. All right. Sorry, I have to edit one more little thing uh, because I do not want to deal with the performance issues. So we will close out that really quick. And I will reopen it <laughs> because that's the only thing I can think to do. All right. Uh, don't worry, I made, a, I made a safety save. Kind of weird that this is happening right now, but we'll deal with it. We can take it in stride, am I right, team? Let's go. Uh, data. Weird. Seems to be working just fine now. Odd. No idea what that's about. Okay. Spooky ghost. The door is shut firmly from the other side. There has to be another way in. Well, when we were playing as um, Ray, we saw there was like a door over here. Right? Yeah, there's like a whole other little area. A thick bar holds the door to the storehouse-like building closed. I removed the bar. Okay. Hmm. Oh, this is the, the room with the wreckage. Okay, so I just opened up a shortcut. anything else out here for me to like discover that would be ideal also holy smokes the game got dark <laughs> what is what's this area anything here you got anything for me no oh whoa type zero film interesting i didn't even notice anything there anything stuff over here there is okay there's like a little what looks like a little piece of film grain that i th that's what i thought it was but it appears it was an item anything anything good for me anything in here ah 
Did I get it? I did. Good for me. Ooh. What did that get me? Oh, pinwheel key. Oh, we needed this. I know exactly where to use this. So we need to go to the room that Mio and Mayu were in. And we should be able to use it to... Uh, yeah, there we go. Now, I want to know about this purifying light thing because... I didn't really see anything that seemed interactable. It was like, you can find purifying lights around the house. But, like, where, though? <laughs> nope. All right. Pulling this map out really quick. So I want to see where we are. Manor of Sleep, Bookstore Room, Shrine Courtyard, Great... Hall, storehouse. Where are we trying to go? Oh no, she's the murder ghost. Right. Is there anything up here? I can't remember. My like memory of the layout of the house is completely gone. It was a little rough for me. Are you, will you continue with your duty? Will you continue with the ceremony? Don't want to waste that. Um, let's see. It's so hard to see like what I'm interacting with. Is this one of them? It is. Oh, perfect. Uh, okay. I'm good at these. I have five moves. Usually it's just like you. Oh, hold on. If I turn this twice, it gets to blue. Er, no, that gets set to red. I have, only have one left. Is that going to be correct? It is not. Okay. Let's see. Thought this was the way. So we do this. Maybe it's this one twice. Yes, it is. Uh, wait. No, it's not. Huh. Oh, this is it. Okay. Woo. I knew I almost had it. I was a little bit confused, though. Sound of a door being unlocked. What did this give me? Oh. Where's the ghost girl at? That's where she normally is. So, oh, I'm on the second floor of like the book room. With the. Oh, she's probably upstairs. Gotcha. Let's see. Is there anything interesting in these bookshelves for me? Among the books crammed into the shelves is one wrapped in oiled paper. Pulling back the oiled paper, I can see the words purple ink written on the cover. Right of purple ink. Those who would offer their pain to the priestess must allow the red and indigo of living and dead blood to mix together to become the ink of the soul, which is then used to tattoo their pain into the priestess. The pain etched in with the ink of the soul appeases that memory while the pain flows into the priestess. After the pain has matured, the ink of the soul must be rinsed away with the running water of the other shore. All right, some spooky, spooky ghost stuff. The tearing tome. That tattooed priestess who cannot enter the sleep of no regrets must be stripped of her tattoos and sent to the other shore. The removed tattoos must then be enshrined in the tranquility of the stone shrine, and the lullaby must be sung to the pray, uh, pray to the end of the pain. The tattooed priestess who will not sleep, 
who cannot endure the pain, will be enshrouded in misery and cast into the rift. Okay. Seems like this is like a lower dump area. Anything in here? All right, the unleashing tome. The priestess's pain is reflected in the mirror of loss. The commandment must be placed upon the priestess's empty eyes. If tattoos should enter her eyes, the empty eyes will become mirrors and all her pain shall be unleashed. If the commandments break, the priestess awakes. The gates will open and the rift shall spill forth from the chamber of thorns. So many proper nouns. <laughs> the rift which spills forth will pass through the dreams into the world and love shall be consumed by torment. Interesting. I don't know if there's anything else in here for me. Yeah, she's gonna be up here. Get out of here with your weird, your weird body. I don't want to see it. Stop being so freaky all the time. There we go. Oh, okay. There is something on the cross cloth spread out on the floor. It looks like a candle. Okay, so I got the purifying light. Oh, there's an item right there. It's so hard to see with this contrast. Holy smokes. Type 90 film. Glad I noticed that. Because it would be really unfortunate to not have noticed that. Quick shot there. That's pretty good for us. Where do we go? It's a little far, but if I don't think about the height, I could probably jump across. Oh my god. Jump to the next roof. That's a really far jump, dude. You're such a weenie. I am so shocked he was able to do that. Okay. Okay. Props. Uh, you have to give him credit where credit is due, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do. All right, there is nothing over here, and I am forced to walk at this pace, this extremely slow pace. <laughs> Oh, it looked like there was something down there, but there just isn't. Okay. Is there anything? No, probably not. No, okay. I have no clue what I was supposed to see there. There was probably like a spooky little moment right there that I missed. Also, the purifying light going down is like a real bummer. <laughs> All right. Medicine chest covered in dust. I looked inside a few of the drawers, but all the medicine or whatever it is has uh, gone rotten and turned black. There's a reel of film between the books. Film Abyss. All right, I'll be able to play that, I guess. Is there anything in here? It looks like there's something inside. Ooh, Type 90 film. They're kind of throwing stuff at me. I wonder if this is the last chapter I play as, as K. Logic dictates to some extent that if the game, so everything has been divided into chapters and they're called hours, right? 
So, if the game has the same amount of chapters as there are hours in the day, we are on chapter 10, which gives us three chapters until the end. So it would make sense if this is the last chapter we play as K, because that gives us one more as Miku and one more as Rei. That being said, we really didn't play much as this guy. Oh my god. What a waste. Wasted stone mirror. And I have no idea where this ghost is, is supposed to be. Tattooing her? Is that what I'm witnessing? Can't really take a picture of it. Uh, Splinter and Kettle have pointed out there are, in fact, 24 hours in a day. Yes, but there are still only 12 hours on a clock. <laughs> Is there anything down here for me? I to remember where all this stuff is. Ooh. Sure, I will pick up the candle and we will regrow our purifying light. I probably shouldn't have done that until it wore down, but honestly at this point it probably was about to anyway. reflecting in the light. Sacred water. Oh, perfect. Well, that's great for us. Splinter says, I will also say that in all the Fatal Frame I've watched my brother play, I think this is the first time I've seen a man in the game at all, let alone as a player character. Uh, yes, so this is the only Fatal Frame so far that has had a man, and this is the only man that we play as, and it has been extraordinarily limited amount of time that we have uh, played as him. So... <laughs> and he is also bad. Yes, Kettle Chips is correct. Uh, K is the hardest character to play uh, because his gimmick is that he's a weenie and he hides from things and he does no damage. On top of the platform is a cloth stuck with needles. Could it be a body under the cloth? That's kind of messed up. Tried to open the stream, but it's held fast. Inside the screens are what look like something. At the other end, I can see a door that leads further into the shrine. Uh, okay... I want whatever's in there, though. It's back here. Oh, shotgun film. Perfect. Uh, okay, I guess I'm going to have to interact with the very ominous item sitting in the middle of the room. On the spine is written, Piercing of the Soul. That's the name of the chapter. It must refer to the ceremony that took place here. Oh, I can't go back. I have to reread it. I'll, I'll reread it in a second. The altar is arranged with braziers and other equipment used in the esoteric Buddhist rituals. In the center lays a pedestal meant to hold a round plate of some sort. There's a small engraving on it. Offer up the mirror etched with the holly of the priestess. Perhaps you can fit something into this pedestal. All right. Piercing of the soul. Okay. If the feelings of loss for those who cross to the other side begin to spill into dreams, they shall bring great trouble into this world. Those feelings of loss must be etched into the priestess as tattoos in the piercing of the soul. The tattooed priestess, who has been engraved with the pain, shall then bear that pain into her sleep and calm the troubles of the world. Interesting. Uh, huh. Okay. Oh, scary. Ah, uh, no 
damage at all. Ah! Did I do damage? Not really. Maybe. Oh, I got. I have a lot of ammo. I should be fine. Don't try to get me. Thank God. Did that kill both of them, or is that just one of them? Oh no! Still right behind me. Oops. It's a little bit <laughs> funky. Hi, lady. Alrighty, we took care of both of them. That wasn't too bad. Did they drop anything? Is there anything good? No? Uh, okay. Force holding the door shut has disappeared. I didn't even realize there was a force holding the door shut. <laughs> Oops. We just walk. Oop. I guess I wake up. All right, chapter 10 down. Musty film, my favorite. Let's go talk to Miku, see if she has anything for us. Because I think I gave her something recently, didn't I? I mean, I, I don't fully remember. It's been a while, but I'm pretty sure I gave her something. Just say good morning. Good morning. This is a newspaper from a while back. I thought the woman in this article resembled the woman in that picture found in the closet. Oh, okay, cool. Rescued woman disappears. Before daybreak on the 13th, a woman who was hospitalized last month after a robbery went missing from the hospital. The search party was dispatched. The missing person is Kiriko Asanuma, 23. After the robbery, Miss Asanuma was admitted for psychological trauma, but on the morning of the 13th, when the doctor went to see her, she had disappeared from the hospital room. Miss Asanuma was in her family home last month when two robbers broke in and murdered her parents and brother. Miss Asanuma herself was hidden in the closet by her parents and escaped unhurt. Yet four days after the incident, she had to be rescued, as the neighbor reported she was not able to leave the house. The hospital admitted to administrative incompetence and is pouring all resources into her uh, search and protection. Let me know if you have anything else for me. Interesting. Okay. Let's go develop that film. I, I am honestly a little bit shocked. I mean, not to not to be on Ray's side here, but Miku's pretty was was pretty on top of things for a while, and she just left the bloody handprints on the mirror. It's very out of character for you, Miku. She must really be depressed. A shadowy form that looks like the girl I photographed behind the partition. She seems to be holding a book or something in her hand. This must be the photo I took of the hidden well deep within the house, surrounded by sacred rope and paper. A woman is peering mournfully into the well. Okay. Intriguing. Oop. Oh, it just it just skipped me. Just move me right here, it said. Toaster, you did everything. You don't need to you don't need to walk back. We'll save you the time.
she in here? Nope. Am I gonna play as Miku tonight? Cause she's all weird. <gasps> Gasp. I'm sure that he's calling to me. Miku, Ray, I left Mafuyu. I left Mafuyu all alone in that place. I came back by myself. I was the only one who was saved. Miku, I just want to sleep. Miku. She's just repeating brother. So it looks like uh, I can't like interact with her or cause her to do anything. I can't like give her the photos to investigate, so. Yeah, we should be fine. All right, let's continue. Is there anything in here? No? We didn't get any more tapes. We didn't get any more letters. We don't have any more camera to, uh, or film to develop, so. I guess it's Miku time. <sighs> Kettle Chip says, didn't Mafia you choose to stay? That's on him. It is on him. He didn't even choose to stay. He said, I have to stay because ghosts, you leave. <laughs> All right, are we back with the sleepy, sleepy priestess? The last passage. Okay, I am assuming that this is the last chapter we play with Miku. I should be able to get to the cell if I head up to the second level. Oh yeah, we did find out that there was like a whole little area up there we could we could walk to. Um, wait, is this right? Yeah, okay. What is the name of this room? Tattoo altar. So where am I? I'm, where am I trying to go? I'm trying to just go upstairs, right? Yes. Huh? Oh! Oh my God! I had no idea a fight was happening. <laughs> That was startling, huh? What a way. What a way to start the chapter. Oh no, I missed. I'm not scared of, of these little girls. Fight me. Nail me. Give it to me. wasn't too bad. Uh, Miku has has just so much damage. She gets so many points for every single hit. It doesn't matter what kind of... Uh, it doesn't really matter what you're using uh, as your film. She just she just rakes up <laughs> the... Uh... Oh no, I missed it. Dang it. She just rakes up the points. Oh no, I have to be really quick. All right, I'm just gonna go and grab as much of this stuff as I can. I'm not gonna worry about the herbal medicine because uh, I probably, well, I don't know. With Miku, I might actually need it because she gets into a lot more combat than everyone else. Uh, but run.
I guess while we're in like this phase and I haven't gone up the stairs back there, I'll run across to the projection room and get the, the film. Because film is a little bit more important than the herbal medicine at this point, I think. Wait, is this correct? Am I on the right side? I am. Okay. Oop. And maybe I can watch the Abyss film now, too. Did they share that inventory? Because I did not watch it as K. Oh, I can't. I can't. All right, so they dropped the priestess down into basically the, the abyss from Fatal Frame 2. Eh, I mean, I guess I could have put that two and two together there. <laughs> All right. We're going at a brisk pace. Let's see what we can do. Let's see how quickly we can get through this chapter. Because I really don't want to be stuck with uh, the purifying light going out, but I do think I'm going to need that film, so it was ultimately a worth it trade-off, I guess. Nope. Not dealing with you, buddy. image of something has been caught in the photo. Oh, it's Amane, right? That's her name, Amane? I feel like I'm forgetting her name. Paskete. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, not really sure where I'm going. Oh, maybe out to the shrine. That would make sense, because... I, I assume I need to bring every single character out there. Akane, yes, that I think that was her name. Uh, Akane was her name. All right, so we'll go back to the garden corridor. And maybe go through to the shrine. I mean, it makes sense, right? No one else has been there. Just do our best to make it in there. This way. Again, I'm gonna try my absolute best to like pick up as much herbal medicine as I can afford to go out of my way to get, but at the same time, we're running against a clock here uh, with the purifying light. And granted, if things, mm, if the purifying light goes out and things get a little bit rough, like that's fine for the most part, I think. It's just, it makes navigation more dangerous, which for Miku is, Slightly a problem because she gets into a lot of fights and I don't want to waste all of my resources fighting. Ooh, a thing. What's over here? Oh, herbal medicine. Okay, well, that's good. That's what we want. Alright. Um... <laughs> Splinter says, why must ghosts always choose violence? That's, I ask myself the same question every day. All right. Is it over here? Oh, 
Okay, so I just have to go back up. Oh no, I'm back in spooky mode. Apollo says you'll want to take photos of the ghost to progress. Yes. Thank you. I was I was very lost on what to do next. I think it was up here, right? Go up through here, through this room. There's like a area I can walk into, right? Oh no 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 no. Oh god, where is she? Ah, there we go. Who deftly dodged? The question is, is there another candle over? Nope. I was hoping maybe that the film would respawn there, but who can say? <laughs> Commandment tome. Okay. The chosen maiden is put onto the boat of passing. The boat sways as it is sent to Kuze Shrine. The living flesh is cut, the tattoos etched in. Pain of the holly shall be sealed within her. All her love shall be interred into a mirror. This she must break, shatter herself. Her attachments to this world must be broken. It's sad. It's unfortunate. The piercing of the soul thus concludes. Impale her with the stake of tattoos. The rite of commandment must be conducted. Sleeping undisturbed for eternity. Dreaming in the endless dream of the rift. Enclosed, entombed in her chamber of thorns. She shall continue to feel the pain of the holly for all time. She shall sell she seashells by the seashore. Uh, apart from the poem on the first page, the book is full of what looks like names written in a dark red ink. Am I going to get any of those names? No? <laughs> all right. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Hmm... Where am I taking this? Let me check. I, I presume I need to go back to the library that's like upstairs there to just like, I don't know, unlock that like altar again so I can climb up the altar. Is that what's going on there? Am I following the logic correctly? <laughs> Kettle Chip says, oh, the ink is made from a dark red substance. Yeah, it's very mysterious. A dark red and a dark blue substance. I wonder what it could be. Alrighty. Oh. Nope. No, thank you. We're moving on. Oh. Very fast rope, man. I don't know if I'm going the right way. I don't think I am. I think I went the wrong direction. Oop, what's that? Love that for me. Oh, type 14. Not bad. We'll immediately turn around now because I, I think I have to go the other direction. <laughs> Miku looks so concerned. And she's, look at her. She's hustling. She's moving so much faster than she did in the first game. We should be so proud of Miku. Is it this way? Can we go back. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Very good. All right, so we made a small detour to get some Type 14. That's always good for Miku. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. I, I don't like this purifying light mechanic. It's so frustrating. <laughs> I mean, I don't hate it, but it's annoying. All right, we'll make a safety save real quick. Okay. Uh, good luck, Gwyn, uh, at whatever it is you need luck doing. All right. Kettle Chip says, by Fatal Frame 4, she will move at a brisk stroll. I mean, that's the goal, right? It's the little victories that count. Uh, am I not able to go this direction? Do I need to walk all the way around it? No, I am. Uh, odd. Was there odd? I already picked up the herbal medicine, okay. Gotta hustle. Oh, mm. there is no way I could have had time to deal with that. Rat. This is like the worst possible place. Did you leave me alone yet? Where are you? Be gone. Do I have to go downstairs to chase her? I think I really do. pretty good at this game. I'm pretty good at this game. <laughs> All right. Let's do what we can. There is a sound like that of some uh, sort of mechanism moving from the level above. What does that mean? Oh, wait, was there a door up here? Candle is getting really low again. Oh, perfect. All right. What am I doing? Where am I going? Is it over here? It is, but I just phased right through that boss or ghost or enemy or whatever the heck that was. All right. All of these sections where I can't like walk my normal pace and have to like be stuck in these like crouching animations is such a pain. Something is reflecting in the light. Something has been sewn into part of the kimono. Mirror of loss. The back of this mirror is adorned with a holy pattern. There is an old book on top of the clothes spread out at the bottom of the cell. Tattooed diary. My father, my mother, my brother. Everyone has gone to the other side. I've been left all by myself. Just like that time when I couldn't go with Kaname. An escort came from the Kuze shrine. Those who know the pain of the loss of loved ones become priestesses. And by surrendering their flesh can save many people who know the same pain. But once you become a priestess and have the pain of the holly engraved into you, you can't leave the shrine. The entire village is gone. Father, mother, my brother, everyone. I'm the sole survivor. There's nothing left for me. If it's decided that I can never see them again, then that means that I can sleep for all of eternity. I can save others with the same pain. 
Interesting. Well, at least she's got, she's pure of heart or whatever. Oh, this is the kimono room. Nice. Uh, this means I can grab that herbal medicine I didn't have before, which is awesome for me. So quickly do that. A little stroll, just grab it right outside here, and we will be good. Look at us, just hoarding resources like this. We're doing great. Not that it matters, because I think this is the last chapter we play as Miku. <laughs> Which way do I want to go? Yeah, that's that's the way I want to go, right? So I want to go down the stairs. Is that right here? Yes. Alrighty. Oh, okay, that's perfect. That puts us in like a really convenient spot. Nope. Okay. Oh. oh, I thought they were enemies. <laughs> I don't understand why sometimes they appear as a red light on the on the viewfinder thingy, and sometimes they appear as a blue light. Like I can't really seem to figure out the rhyme or reason there. Yeah. I want to go in here, I think. Is there anything around here? Can I, like, explore that side? No? Because this is the place uh, where the mirror needs to go. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. Is there anything else around here? No. Oh! That startled me. Before we do anything, <laughs> let's upgrade our stuff. Seems good. The charge that she does, the double charge, doesn't actually seem that useful for me to upgrade because it like requires a lot and is just finicky. Oh god, this person again. gripping my controller so that I can move and shoot quickly at the same time. <laughs>
This one seems a lot easier than the other one we fought. Maybe it's just because Miku does hella damage. Get racked. Alright. Let's put this here, I guess. Sound from the bamboo screen in the back. Okay. Do I have a stone mirror? I do not. We're going to pick one up. Because there's this one up here. That I couldn't pick up as, uh, what's his name? And this will prepare us, I think, for whatever the heck is about to happen. And it makes sense. It gives me one with Ray, one with Miku, one with Gay. That way, if I need to use all three of them, then I have a safety net. And I do not need to be too concerned about the amount of damage that I take. Oh, I just got to do this quickly because it will be bad if I die. <laughs> right? This is the one. Oh, well, that's just a purifying light. That's fine. I guess that respawns for every character then because I picked that same one up for K. Now, it said, um, like, a door opened in the back. I just don't... Um, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I won't grab the stone mirror because if Ray needs it, or maybe there's another one ahead or something, it, maybe it's best to just not mess with it right now. Yeah, I think so. Uh, and the reason that I have for that is I don't actually know if this is going to be the last Miku chapter, and if I'm at the end of the chapter and I'm just about to finish it, I do not want to pick up the stone mirror and then just have it be wasted. Uh, so we'll just we'll just play it safe. And uh, just be really, really, really careful. Still, I needed that purifying light at the very least because I was getting pretty low. Oh, no, I was... Uh, I went the wrong way. Here we go. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I kind of wasted that quarter of that, but it's fine. This way. Oh, I can go in. Oh, I can go in here now. Yay. What's this? Oh, Type 90 film. Nice. Inside the screens, the bare rock beneath the floor is exposed, and it looks like the stone bed in the center was carved straight out of the rock. Looking closely at the stone bed, it can make out traces of red and purple ink. It looks like a tattooing ceremony took place here. Ah, uh, yes. Red and purple ink. That is what that was. That's what the red substance is. We know now. It was ink. Silly me. Ooh, save point. I can't get the picture of her. Uh, irritating. Oh well, we'll go. We'll just keep going. Keep moving forward. No one can save me, you. It is impossible to be saved by anyone. Oh, I guess my candle doesn't matter here for game reasons. That's a bummer. I think Miku has been my favorite character to play as. She's just very capable. She has like a ton of different options and abilities and like she just does so much damage. Ray obviously does more. Like it makes it way easier to play uh because Ray is just a tank 
but uh, overall, I think the Miku chapters have been the best because they require like the most combat encounters, the most overall expertise. I'm kind of on the skin of my teeth every single time I play as her because she takes a lot of damage. Um, but regardless, it's been... Mm, I'm going to be attacked by like five people. I have a bad feeling about this. No. Not her. She was like nice and what Oh no. Okay, this is bad. Okay, did not get that. All right, well, <laughs> almost killed that one instantly. Did I just get a triple fatal frame? <laughs> All right, never mind. I'm significantly less worried about this incredibly annoying AOE fight. Or AOE uh, crowd control fight, because I just think I killed two of them instantly. That was not bad. Okay. Oh, she juked me. You're a tricky. Did that count? It did not. You missed, though. Because you have terrible aim. Because you're an annoying child. Shit, Rag. Any more of you left? Any more of you literal children want to fight? I'll get them all. All right, let's go. Uh, which way? Is that a save point right there? No, it's the same asset as the save point, but it does not appear to be an actual save point. Uh, I've always wanted to be with my brother. Going that way is bad. I want to be with you. Uh, it's all okay now. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry about that time. I left you behind. Alone. I want to be with you forever. That's what it, uh, what her last line. Interesting. Tafia says, hell yeah, I came back to the real protag, Miku tearing it up. Yeah, I think we just finished the last Miku chapter. I could be wrong, but I think that's what, <laughs> I think that's what just happened. Miku. Is Miku going to have disappeared? That would be really sad. I hope Miku's not dead. Am I going to get a cool pre-rendered cutscene? I am. Uh, no. Oh, thank God. She's alive. Miku. I was really nervous for a second. Well, yeah. Oh. oh no! Sick tats. She can join the Suicide Girls or whatever. That's one way to read that, I guess. Oh my god, Ray is a giantess. Look at her, she's so big. 
子供の頃から人には見えないものが見えて兄さんだけが私を分かってくれたのに<笑>だから<笑>分かるんです私たち死ぬんです肉<笑>いつも私に言ってくれるじゃない前向きにならなきゃダメだって<笑>自分が一人だって思わないで<笑>ありがとう。That was nice, nice and touching. All right, I think we have some、uh, notes to read, basically, right? All right, there's so many. Miku Hinasaki, I want to be where you are. The words I heard her say in her sleep must have come from her heart. She's calmer now, but did I really help her at all? I still don't even know what I should do about my own longing for you. Hey, Amakura, researching the manner of sleep. He promised to come visit when I told him you w a s dead. Maybe by working together with him, I can find a way to escape the manor. Yep. Mio,、uh, was she looking for her sister when she was lured into the house? <sighs> Family need peace. Tattooed princess. Woman who appeared in my dream, her whole body is covered in tattoos. Is it true what the old books say that she was etched with holly to take on people's pain and suffering? Could this nightmare be her own holly? A man named Kaname. Diary was left in the prison where the shrine maiden was kept. In, her, in it were her recorded、uh, thoughts and feelings. The name Kaname was written in there. The brother's name in the diary of the girl dressed as the shrine maiden was Kaname, too. Did he come to see her? Did he go inside the shrine? Kind of like a remix of what happened in the first game. The shrine maiden with plated hair who called out to Miku for help. She was hiding on the third floor of the library deep within the manor, crying and calling her brother's name. Yoshino Takigawa. We've already read this. In another photo, I caught a glimpse of him lurking in the shadows around her. Surrounded by her boyfriend and family, she is trapped in her dreams, tortured by her feelings of guilt about what happened, guilty of the sin of having survived. Carpenters, tall men, research, they were shrine carpenters. Did they work on the house only to be butchered there when they had finished to protect a secret, or was there another reason? The woman on all fours who attacked me inside the Dream Manor. Miku used her photo to track down a newspaper report about her. A story concerning a woman who disappeared after getting caught up in a murder and being locked away. Kiriko Asanuma, could that be her? It is her. We know that. Hidden Shrine. The area around the sealed shrine was full of evil air. Now that the door is open, the air has escaped and entered the manor. The seal has been broken and there is no turning back now. Carved into the altar inside the shrine are the words offer up the mirror etched with the holly of the priestess. Human shaped stains. Similar stain left behind after Yoshino Takigawa went missing. I read in one of the papers about mummified bodies being discovered behind the same kinds of stain. Right, this is all stuff, it's just a recap of the lore. So, ceremony room, Buddha image on the statue, book suggested the image was a kind of memorial used for human sacrifices. Is the image in the book the same as the one in the house? What was happening in there? Sacrifices, obviously.、Hmm. Offer up commandment tome, written ink tattoo. Yeah, we knew that. Skewer dolls. According to an old book on folklore, the practice belongs to an old folk cult. The dolls stood at the border between mountains and the village, functioning as protective deities or amulets. What is there in that courtyard behind, beyond that door? The lullaby. According to a book Miku found for me, the lullaby sounds like the song of the Sleeping Shrine Maiden from northeastern Japan. The empty house I visited on that job assignment was in the same part of the country, off the map, deep in the hills. The book suggests the song might be a folk corruption of an old religious ritual, a ceremony to do with sleep. Could it be connected to my dreams somehow? Well, yeah, everything's connected to your dreams. <laughs> okay,、uh, let me save.
Is it really okay that I uh, kept on living? Hmm. Oh, we're Miku again. Oh, awesome. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it's this dream again, even though I don't want to see it anymore. I guess it's more like even though I don't want to have this dream anymore, but still. And they're speaking Japanese, not English. In Japanese, you don't have dreams, you see dreams. I need to go uh, all the way. It, it was nice of them to start me here because I believe the area I need to go is this way because that leads to the rope shrine because I'm in Himuro Mansion right now, right? Like, yeah, the the recreation of Himuro Mansion. So we'll go this way. Ugh. Y'all crazy if you think I'm going to be taking... Oh! I thought it was a ghost, like a fight, but no, it was just brother. <laughs> that was Mafia, you, right? I think so. Wait a second. Did I get both of these in one shot? What the fuck is this? All right, well, that was a waste. <laughs> Oh, and thank the lord, I don't need to do this puzzle again. You know, I say that like every time I come in here, but it just cannot be stated enough. I am so happy about that. Uh, I want to... Is there anything in there for me to pick up? Because I really... I don't want to give up on any... Uh, I don't want to give up on any nice goodies, like film and stuff, if I'm going to be fighting bosses or something. So wait, does this mean I'm still in chapter 11 instead of 12? Dang, I thought we had made more progress than we did. All right. Ooh. What? Ugh, again. I messed her up, holy crap. Oh no! Ouchies. Let go of me. Half health, youch. I get the fatal frame. Oh, I didn't. Oh, that's rough. I probably could have killed her too. Oh no, I died. <laughs> It's okay, I just saved. Uh, we're good. That was rough. <laughs> I did get the first... I got a full double shot, though, on her. Alright. Well, now I know to, to look out for her. Because... <laughs> it could have been worse.
Okay. Just got 1,500 points, I guess, for that. I didn't really need to use that uh, camera, but that's fine. There's nothing in here, so I just can just immediately run into this room. And we can now mess her up. Oh man, I am not doing the damage to her that I did last time though, that's for sure. That's the kind of damage we're looking for. I think the issue last time was just that I lost track of her. Definitely dodged. Where is she? Oh, where the heck did she come from? What, why did my mm, go down? Okay. Get away from me, get away from me. She's like inside of my hitbox. I have to run. Ah! She hits me once, I'm gonna die. So I do need to take an herbal medicine. Thank God we stockpiled so many of them. What? I could have sworn I got that. Just die already. Oh, we did it. Okay. Woohoo. I don't have any, um, I don't have any. We have to chase Mafu Yu. I don't have any more, uh, full heals. I don't have any sacred water with her, which is going to be a challenge. And I also have very little good film left. I have some type 90, but that's not going to hold us. Mafuyu, I. Mafuyu. She's going to go after Mafuyu. I've decided it's going to happen. Alrighty, wow. She's just gonna end up ghosted. 
She's going to be super ghosted. Mafia used to look like a Muppet. Oh, Ray separated from Miku now. There goes Miku. Oh, well. Oh, no, she's gone. Or maybe she's just asleep and Ray will finally, it will, she'll have a chance to save her or something. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so Miku is still asleep, but she hasn't disappeared yet. Okay. He looks really weird outside of the dream. <laughs> really odd. It's gonna... What? That relationship is developing fast. I like that they give the game, the characters, time to just kind of be depressed. <laughs> Very cinematic in that regard. <clears throat> mm. 
And Tafia says, our last hope is Ray. We're so fucked. Hey, this is her one chance to get it together. Ray, mother, Oh, that was a very sudden <laughs> shift. Okay, uh, uh, there may still be hope. This book was left inside an old shrine, not far from the Manor of Sleep. It seems to date from a time when the house was known as the Kuze House, or the Engraving Shrine. It's not easy to read much of it now, but it has something to do with the Ceremony of Commandment. <laughs> Chosen Maiden is put onto a boat of passing. The boat always set to Kuze Shrine. We've already read this one. This is a book written by a scholar of folklore named Akito Kashiwagi about the sleeping priestess, but it's the same material, uh, but the same material appears in this book as well. Legend of Song 2. After extensive research on the Mutsu lullaby, the sleeping pr priestess, lyrics were discovered that appear to be even closer to the original. The following includes thoughts on how the song came about as well as its meaning. Sleeping Priestess first one. Sleep child, lie in peace. Sleep child, lie in peace. If you cry, the boat you'll ride, the last trip to the other side. Once you get there, sacred marks you'll bear. They shall be peeled off should you fail to lie still. The words lie in peace in this version of the song seem to connote death rather than sleep. The words sacred marks may be related to the area's legend of the tattoo master. Perhaps in the original religious song, it expressed a meaning of engraving a tattoo. Sleep child, lie in peace, sleep child, lie in peace. If the priestess wakes from her dream, from her endless dream, perform the rite of stakes, her limbs pinned tight, lest the doors open wide, and suffering unleashed on all. After researching various oral traditions, there was found to remain here the vestiges of a spirit world, faith uh, of sending the spirits of the dead to the sea. Despite the fact that it is in the mountains, this sea may signify the underworld. If the doors are taken as the doors to the other world, then lest the doors open wide and the suffering unleashed on all, seems to connote that if the doors to the other world open, some disaster will occur. This song may have originally related to a ceremony that protected the gate to the other world. The combination of elements such as the title, the sleeping priestess, the priestess waking, sleep, and lying to sleep, juxtaposed with the word to pin, lends the meaning of the priestess being aided to sleep, in other words, to be put to sleep. A sacrificial property can thus be read into the song. Following is a diagram found in the regional documents, combined with a legend that seems to be based on ceremony and religion. In the center of this illustration, there is a small shrine where engraving shrine is written. The part of the song about tattoo lends credence to the theory that the song may have been sung here. Deep in the engraving shrine, there is a vast sea, and the shrine is drawn as the boundary between this shore and the other shore. The lore accompanying the diagram is as follows. Break fresh skin, engrave the holly, impale the tattoo stake, subdue for eternity to sleep in the rift. Like the song lyrics, the lore can also be read as having the same human sacrifice-like aspect of impale, subdue, and sleep. Both of the books indicated that in the rite of commandment, or the rite of the stakes, by impaling the priestess with the tattoo stake, you subdue her for eternity. The doors could refer to the gates of hell, and now for some reason they've been opened. But if we can impale the priestess's limbs with the tattoo stakes, then we may be able to put her to rest. I think the tattoo stakes are some sort of special stakes. They must be somewhere in the mansion. Impale the priestess. I remember you said that he had found a tape with this song recorded on it. Did you happen to hear anything about it? A tape? Maybe in his room. I'll go take a look. All right. I guess we have to go raid our dead uh, fiance's room again. Just casual, just casually walking, just strutting down the hallway as my Amazonian character here towers over every other character in the game. Range on the bookcase or used collection of books. The words rope priestess can be found among rope, uh, folklore related books. Perhaps it has something to do with the woman found in Miku's dream. In my visit to the Himuro area and the five pedestal shrine that protects the five deity mirror, 
I was able to peruse fascinating old texts on the Himuro area legend and the gates to the underworld. From these texts, it was clear the apocryphal gates of the underworld ceremony was held in this area. Following is vocabulary I garnered through my research this time. The ceremony of the ropes is held to close the gates, i.e. the gates of the underworld, and the special rope, the laceration rope, is used. The special rope used to close the gates. It's also written that it is used to stay the priestess's power. The rope priestess. In a certain document, there is a diagram of a female with arms, legs, and neck bound by rope. Perhaps she is the rope priestess, and the five ropes are the laceration rope. Bind the priestess with ropes, pull them to the five gods, create thereby the laceration rope to perform the rite. Here the five gods may signify the directions of the five shrines on which the Himuro mansion is centered. Pulling the rope that binds the priestess in five different directions must create the laceration rope. If the rope binding the priestess is truly used as a laceration rope, is the rope priestess then a sort of human sacrifice? I hope to visit the Himuro mansion in the near future and unravel the tale of the gates of the underworld, as well as that of the rope priestess. And use, there's a document called the Temple and Shrine Carpenters. There have been incidents of shrine carpenters disappearing across the region. This month alone, 10 have gone missing. It is rumored that they may be so-called spirited aways. All 10 shrine carpenters were young and well-respected, and it is said several had been summoned to rebuild a secret shrine somewhere. Okay, so the house got rebuilt. Interesting. Newspaper in which a man resembles one from the photograph appears. While conducting a geological survey for the planned Minakami Dam site, Masumi Miyakimura, oh, he's the boyfriend from the second game in the first part, and Miyako Sudo went looking for him and disappeared similarly. As of yesterday, the search for them was called off and the construction of the Minakami Dam resumed. The Minakami Mountain area has historically had many cases of missing persons. As myths of spirited aways are popular in the area, this incident is also rumored to be one such spirited away. The police continue to call for provision of any information related to the disappearance of the two. After consultation with the relatives of both sides, they announced that they would be terminating the search. The Manor of Sleep Urban Legend The Manor of Sleep is an urban legend that was whispered among those in psychiatry about hospitalized patients suddenly disappearing. There are several stages, and it progresses like a sickness. First, having the same dream. The patients who later go missing first see the same dream every day, usually about dead lovers or family. Next, the patients dream about wandering into a large manor. It is a huge, snowy Japanese-style house. It is laid out haphazardly, as though many extensions were added. Then, deep in the manor, one discovers their duly departed. Patients follow the dead deeper into the manor. Most patients find the same scenes and phenomena along the way. Phenomena along the way. For example, hearing a lullaby, seeing a mass funeral march, or being pursued by a tattooed woman. Hallucinations while awake. At this stage, the patient complains of abnormalities of the body while awake. The symptoms are common to all patients, and when they wake, they feel a sharp pain and see a glowing blue bruise or snake-like tattoo. At this stage, the patient's response to external stimulation grows weaker. Time spent in sleep also slowly increases. From a medical viewpoint, this is a defensive reaction to pain. So if the patients are actually in pain, it is a normal response. Then one to two, uh, then one to two months after the first stage, patient goes missing. Missing is the official term. It is said the patient actually vanishes, leaving only a black soot-like mark. The above mentioned is the original manner of sleep urban legend, but the popular legend is more story-like and it includes the following elements. Strong feelings for the dead summon the first nightmare. Once you follow the deceased in the, de the, deceased in the dream, you can no longer return. And if the sleeping person dreams of a lover or friend, it will beckon that person into sleep. The manner of sleep disease spreads thusly. Deep in the manner of sleep is the world of the dead. If you can make it there, you can meet the deceased. Interesting. There we go. We found the tape. And another notebook. <laughs> this song is thought to be the original of northeastern Japan's lullaby, The Sleeping Priestess. It was found in a gramophone at a local university, and I had it sent to me. I listened to it, but the first and second verses are slightly different from today's. This is thought to be due to differences in the period and area where the song was transmitted. Further, a major difference is that there is also a third verse. I have to look into it more, but it seems a mood changes from the first two verses to the third. I wrote the lyrics as I heard them. Go to the other side. Go to the other side. Cast the boat. Take a ride. Cross the rift to the other side. Further and further to the other side. It must sail bearing your tattoos and our offering of tears. The first and second verses are littered with frightening words, but the third verse is more melancholy. In particular, the ending of the song seems less like a lullaby than something sung at a funeral.
All righty, now we can go back down and talk to him. Not bad so far. We're, we're doing okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. This could be a clue. I'll examine it tonight. All right, do I just go sleep now? Is that all there is? All right. Uh... I wonder if there's anything in the house. Because now that Miku's asleep, I feel like there would be, but. Ooh, I can upgrade this. That's very good. Increase Ray's max value just makes her an incredible <laughs> tank. All right, let's look around the house really quick. Let's see if there's anything left. We're just in Mafi's room. There wasn't really anything. Miku is asleep, so there's no reason to go in there. Is Kay just sleeping on the couch? He is. The ghosts usually appear out here, so. Anything in here? Oh! Uh, well, I missed that opportunity. Was that the stroller lady? <laughs> it's kind of funny. All right, well, I guess I missed the chance, whatever. We'll just have to go to sleep and go back into the manor. So I'm assuming we're playing as Ray for the rest of the game. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we'll fight play as Kay at some point, but it feels like it's setting me up to play as, as Ray. I guess he's still looking for Mio, right? So he has a reason to go back. So yeah, maybe maybe we'll play as him this time. I'm not sure. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Nope. This will all be over shortly. Impale the priestess to subdue. The tattoo stakes must be somewhere within the mansion. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, does the... Yes, it does. It responds. Perfect. It's okay. It, it, using K right now is not too big of a deal because we have a ton of items with him. Like, we're just swimming in resources. Which actually kind of sucks. Uh, it would be really great if other characters had this many resources, but it's fine. I suppose he needs them. All right. Uh, we have to go get stakes, right? Oh no, she's right there. Um, running time. So I'm going into the altars because I think that's where the stakes were, right? Because the stake maidens or the little annoying priestess girls are the ones that like created them, right? Am I right? Oh, candlelit. Inside the miniature shrine, there's a stake made of stone piercing the middle. In the shadow of the stone, at the lower part of the shrine, there's a minutely engraved script. By the balancing of light, purify the shadow of the tattoo stake. Subdue the priestess in the chamber of needles. Okay. What am I doing? Oh, I'm altering the shadow. Okay. What does this do? Okay. Uh. Oh, oh, I'm counterbalancing them. Gotcha. I didn't understand what that puzzle was. <laughs> oh, that's dumb. I solved that by accident. 
When the shadow disappeared, the stake fell. Okay, tattooed stake one. A strange pattern has been carved into the stake. Okay. Mina Shinuyo, everyone dies. Um, all right. Uh, uh okay. Oh no, I'm stuck. Oh! Oh, well, they don't really do damage, it's fine. What is this kind of enemy? Oh god, what a waste. Ah. So gonna be a weird fight. <laughs> I truly am having difficulty uh, <laughs> even figuring out how to fight this enemy because it is a very small arena. What is she doing? What is she doing to fight me? <laughs> this is such a weird fight. There we go. Oh no. Alright. Gotta get like two good hits on her now. <laughs> what was that look? Alrighty. This will make it easier. Just let me see you. That's all I gotta do. If I can see you, you're easy to hurt. Oh, fuck. I just used the wrong film. Oh, well. It's fine. Don't want to use that film. That would be bad. That's fine. We're okay. Using one shot of the wrong film type is, is not, it's not a crime. Having like this like very wide swinging enemy like this is, is just so difficult in this game. There we go. Okay. Uh, wow, we used a lot of our time up there. That's not good. Below. Okay. Uh, spirit points needed all. Damage increases uses to inflict more damage than a normal shot. Consume so many spirit points it inflicts greater damage. Higher your level, the more damage you inflict on the ghost. Okay. Well, that's useless to me right now because I can only store one uh, one shot's worth, basically, right? So, there. We'll, we'll have two dots in that. Maybe we can equip that. There we go. All right, so we have to go to the next doll altar easily. Mm, that's convenient because it's like right up here, right? Right here. Okay. We just go around and hope the ghost lady doesn't see us. Oh, she's not here anymore. Very good. Alright, so I guess we have to get rid of the shadow. Mm. 
Hmm, is that right? There we go. Alright, prepare for another fight. Oh, I don't need to. Well, that's good. Let's save. How's everyone enjoying Fatal Frame after a week away? Are we still intrigued by this game? Because so far, uh, I I'm really enjoying it. It's still my favorite Fatal Frame. It definitely feels weird that there's so much like backloaded character interaction when we learned so much about the manor up to this point. Like it feels like they should have been maybe a little bit more integrated in the game, but uh, overall, it's not too bad. Where am I going? I guess I should go and start picking up like all of the various different like items that just like are around for me. Feel like. Uh, so yeah, I guess we'll go and we'll grab the herbal remedy. Oh God. One in here? I don't remember. There is. Perfect. Oh, the candle's really burning in here. Yikes. Projection room. to make sure I know where I am. This is the room I think I want to be in, so how do I get back over there? Dang. Oh, I, I have to go... No, is it up and around? Yeah, I have to go up and like through this bookshelf room and then down. That's annoying. It seems like the, the general... Uh, take is that everyone's invested in, in Miku's well-being, which is, that's very sweet. That's very nice. How pleasant of us. I don't remember how to get back to that, that room. Where is the kimono room? Because, like, I wanted to get the, yeah, it's, like, right here, right? Oh, oh, it's up there. I'm dumb. Okay, so I can just turn around. Ugh, my candle's out. This is gonna be rough. Yeah, up here. Okay, this is where I wanted to go. So I want to go through here and uh, fight whatever's in here and get the... Um, oh, no. Okay, actually, there is a fight in here. I wanted to get the herbal medicine. I will not let you run away.
Alright, this is how you do damage with K. Oh, and I've got a, a bunch of ammo. Doing great on ammo right now. Yep. Throws her hair at me. Put your weave down, girl. Uh, let's try to see. Where is she right now? Sama. I don't remember who that is. Give this to my child, Kaname. Uh, a book with a purple cover has fallen where I saw the ghost of a woman combing her hair. Purple Diary 3. Akito hasn't come back. Everyone disappears from the manor, leaving me behind. I'm always the one who's left here, combing my hair impatiently. No matter how much I comb my hair, no matter how much I concentrate my feelings, he never returns. Could it be that the earring, the child, neither of them will convey my love to him? Oh, that's a bummer. You should probably just like, I don't know, DM him. It's like what normal people do. When they want to tell people their feelings. Just like reach out. Don't expect him to come to you. Oh my God. I was not prepared. <laughs> okay. Uh, where do I need to go? Not that way. Not that way. I guess we go all the way down. Definitely need to be a little bit choosier about my ammo and a little bit choosier about fights and not just fighting every single thing that like appears. Mm, I say, but there's the girl, there's the lady. I can't remember if I can actually get in through here. I don't really know what I'm doing. If I come back up, is she gonna still be in here? Unclear. Oh, yes! Oh. There we go. Okay, yeah, so I got that purifying candle, which is cool. I was just kind of mashing the button as I was running, so I'm glad that I picked that up. Uh, now we just go back to the the other doll altars, I guess. Yeah, I guess that must be it. Nope. All right. This puzzle again. Hmm. Oh, I can, like, control this side, too? Interesting. I wonder what that does. I guess... Oh, because there are, like, ones here that are missing their stake. So I, I have to make it work. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. A tattooed stake three. I guess I just go this way. There's a door at the top of the ladder leading into a space that I cannot crawl into. All right. Where do I need to go next? I 
I guess if I make it to the blind room, there's also the uh, herbal remedy in there that I can pick up, which is nice. Where where am I going though? Hmm. I don't remember. We haven't been back here in a while. Oh, wait, there was like the hidden area. Wasn't there like the, I guess that pillar room, but there's also, I thought there was a doll altar up here. Am I wrong? All right, whatever. Let's, let's head back down to that side of the manor, I guess. That sounds about right. Um, where am I right now? Oh, I'm under the four. I just have to go back up. I think we go explore the other side, because I think there's only one more stake left, right? There's four. At least that's the way it seemed from the, the literature. <laughs> Oh, ghost lady. We're not going to worry about her because I want to preserve my ammo. So, this way. Okay, so this is Mio and Mayu's like, little room thing. If I just go down here, I think it leads me to a different area. Right? And oh, no, it doesn't. This leads me the wrong way. Okay, I have to go up and around then to get back to the start, probably. That sounds right. Or is it this way? I mean, yeah, I guess this is one way. Oh, and there's type 14 right here, I think, right? There is. Oh, perfect. Okay, so this wasn't that bad of a uh, detour. Very nice. So yeah, we'll go explore the other side of the house, I guess. And that will at least clear up, I think, the like overall direction that we need to go in. Because I don't remember exactly, but I think there's that like impaled stake in that area, uh, in that like secret confined area, because that's where like the shrine master died or whatever. That seems correct to me. took a really long way around but it's because I never remember <laughs> can absolutely never remember which direction I'm going in over here all right uh, save Uh, I think I need one more. I think that last one is, I think it's in the other side of the mansion. Because there's like the confinement room. Yeah. Ke Kettle said, uh, do we only need three? I feel like we would need four. And yeah, I think we do. I think we need four.
extremely long route to get here, but... Isn't there stuff behind here? Is there one over here? Nope. Okay. Well, we're doing our best here. When, um, maybe this is just one gigantic wild goose kit chase, which would be just not great for us. But, uh, oh, I can't go in here, can I? What? Oh, no. Oh, is it on this side? All right, here we go. Oh no, there is nothing in here. Okay, so I have no idea now. <laughs> I guess we'll just keep exploring. We'll do our best. I wonder if that like mummy is ever gonna become relevant. I, I highly doubt it. Oh, wow. That was annoying. Uh, okay. Is there anything down here? Anything left? I think there's a save point, right? Um, go save. That's not good. Oh my god. <sighs> oh my god, she walked through the door. That is not what I wanted to happen. Oh my god, don't walk up the stairs at me. That is such cheating. That is actual bullshit. Get out of here. Is there anything around here that I could use? Oh. Yes. <laughs> Give me it. like quickly walk in and out of this area and just recycle there. <laughs> Get her to despawn. Oh, she's in here too. Great. Is she just in this area always? Great. Great. Fuck this. Ah. Oh, you know what? K can uh, push the dresser, can't he? That's way over here that we've just like haven't 
had an opportunity to interact with this entire game. Yeah, I think he can. Look at that. <laughs> We've been up here before? Oh, this is the root, uh, the roof. Is the ghost woman gonna be attacking me while I'm walking on the thing that gives me a set walk speed? Because if so, that's gonna be some BS. I'm gonna be actually irritated if she just flies across here and kills me. Okay, woo! What's this? Purple Diary 4. The manor has been closed off due to the unleashing, yet I'm not allowed to go outside. I wonder if I'm destined to remain in solitude forever. I can already only remember his face vaguely. That picture he left. That last earring he left. I left them all back in the manor. It's all so hazy now, it seems like it was all just a dream. I at least wanted him to just see my hair. To little things, I guess. Missed it, I think. Yep. I forget that I don't need to actually turn around to interact with that stuff. It just gives me the ability to immediately flash turn if I pull out my camera. There's nothing really. Oh, this is just over the hearth room. Oh, let's see. Okay. God, the purifying light, it, it burns so quickly. It's so terrifying. Oh my God. Let's get out of here. That was the flying ghost lady, wasn't it? Where is she? Be gone, Temptress. I didn't, I didn't get the good shutter chance on her, but there we go. How did that not give me a fatal frame? The little thing was uh, highlighted. There she is. Oh, she dropped a part. Pierce. Temporarily increases the damage inflicted on a photographed ghost. It's useful for ghosts with high HP. Oh. Interesting. It's weird that it's like backloading all of these lenses. That is something that's kind of off to me about this one. Like the, the camera progression is just odd. It's just very strange. I can upgrade. Nope. Just really not using them. <laughs> All right. Uh, up here. Oh yeah, there's still there's herbal medicine down there. I think right, or is that type fourteen? Herbal medicine. Nice. So we got a free heal anyway. Nice. 
So the game isn't as stingy with its resources as it seems. I mean, it makes you use them a lot, but it also replenishes them, so it's not like too bad. Kettle Chip says, you, may, you, you were saying the mechanical progression makes it hard to gauge how far along in the game I am. And yeah, I think that's the case. Like it's, it's pretty tough for me to tell exactly where in the game I am right now because like on one hand, it seems like it's about to be over, but on the other hand, uh, it seems like it might not be. <laughs> so I, I really have no clue. Oh wait, is this where the doll altar is? Am I right? Have I forgotten? Oh, I just accidentally equipped a Type 90. Don't want to do that. Is this it? Did I just walk back to where it was? Yes, I did. I'm dumb. <laughs> Oh, no, you know what? It's it's the ladder, I think. That's how we get to the doll altar. Because it was like a secret room that I had to climb into, wasn't it? I think so. I don't remember what the, the actual, like, uh, key it was. It was like the hyacinth key or something like that. I don't remember. That sounds right, probably isn't. <laughs> the peaches and cream key, let's go. Oh, wait, this brings us to the food. No, this is the tatami loft. Oh, wait, no, now we go down the stairs over here. I think there's also type 14 down here. Uh, and yes, okay. Can I move this? Can't move it from that side. I guess he's never had a reason to go to that side. That's the futon room right there. This is type 14, I think, which it would be great because I'm running low. Yes, perfect. So now we go in here. There we go. Tattooed stake four. Okay, we got all four. Oh, cool. Just in time. That's what he said. Uh, all right. It seems like I should now be good to go back to the garden, I think, and go to the shrine, I think. I think. I'm not really sure. Oop. I think it's just like right through here, isn't it? Isn't the hearth room like basically right next to the grave area? Let's look. Hearth room. Grave courtyard. Okay, yes, it is. It is the area I want to go to. Oh, and this brings me to the hall with Tatami, so I can grab the Type 14. Unless I already did that, in which case I don't. I don't remember doing that. Oops. Let me just quickly check. I don't even know what that sound is. I don't even remember. Miss me with that. Goodbye. 
Okay. Alrighty, let's save. And my guess is we're gonna walk basically all the way to the spooky place that Niku disappeared in, right? So I guess it's just truck forward in until then. Here, I think I'll, I'll grab the, the other candle right. right over here. He already has a stone mirror, so I'm not too concerned about that. Alrighty. All right, so we grab this, we go through the door. There we go. Got more purifying candle. This should last us until we get down to that area, right? Yeah. I feel like this purifying candle mechanic like probably should have been expanded a little bit and should be a little bit different. <laughs> Just because the way it is now, it is just kind of an annoying upkeep thing. Right. No items for me. No Type 90, nothing. Nope. Right. Save again, because I forgot there was a save point here. I won't let you leave. Mo de Radenai, you can't leave anymore. Seems like it oh, it's pretty quick for him to get down. Oh no. Oh this lady again? Uh, I can't remember how to change which lens I am using. Lots of health, but whatever. No. 
There we go. That's the good stuff. Alright, he took care of that. Whew. We managed to get through. Oh, oops, I did not mean to open the map. Alrighty. We just go through. Nobody can save you anymore. Where am I? Abyss of the Horizon. What does that even mean? Anything around here for me to look at? It's over there. Is there anything in here? Am I going to find anything spooky? No. Doesn't seem like it. Guess we just walk up. gonna do in there, okay? <laughs> okay, then. Oh, well, he's probably dead. Oh, well. Sorry. We did our best for you, okay? Uh, oh, wow. That's brutal. Ugh. Look at all those boobies. He's going crazy now. He's losing it. already been done? Huh? Ah. Oh dear. Oh great. Is he going to be ghosted now too Okay Let's 
so I assume this next chapter is going to be the last. Because now it seems to be just us. Just Ray. Yes. Kettle says the Amakura family always gets the shit end of the deal. Yeah, they're really... Oh, no. He was straight up ghosted. Dang. He was just... He was just wrecked. He didn't have, uh, he didn't go to sleep like Miku did. He just died. <laughs> the bag has been left open. Maybe he was looking for something. Inside the bag is a tattered and well-thumbed notebook, I guess, must belong to Kay. There's a seal stamped on one of the last pages. Kay's research notes. I examine the lyrics of the third verse of the Sleeping Priestess. It may be some kind of clue. Below are possible meanings beside impaling the tattoo stake. Maybe the lyrics in the third verse don't mean to make sleep, but rather to send off the priestess. These lyrics certainly fit within the funeral song you was talking about. They practice an ancient spirit world religion over there. At the Kuze family mountain, it's said that there is a sacred area called the Sea of Endless Night. On a certain map is drawn a huge sea-like area behind the manor. Maybe it represents the other world. Could that be where the priestess is relinquished? All right. Old cassette tape. Ototsuki. Huh. Guess we gotta listen to that. Tafia says, I went to the bathroom. Did we lose the furniture mover guy? Yep, he's dead. He didn't even go to sleep. He just died. Like, he's just gone. Oh, Kaname. Wow, this tape is like degraded. Well, that didn't really give us too much information. <laughs> I mean, it was helpful, but not incredibly. So Kaname Ototsuki. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Um, hmm. Kaname, could this be the man who entered the shrine? Kaname Kuze. Hmm. 
if I wanted to meet him. It must be coming from somewhere in the house. Where should I go? All right, let's see. Maybe Miku's room? Is Miku dead yet? Miku is not. Nothing. Oh, there's an attic in Miku's room? That This attic room hasn't been open since you put his things there when he moved out of his parents' house. Where's Miku's cat? He's on the couch downstairs. Or he looked like he was. Maybe he's in the altar room. Wow, this is a sketchy attic. <laughs> Some Japanese chests were picked out from used family home when the house was being rebuilt. We never used them in the end, but I couldn't bring myself to throw them away. Inside the drawer is an old book and something wrapped in cloth. Inside the bundle of cloth is what looks like a small stone of some kind. Echo stone earring. Could this be the earring of the person mentioned in the cassette? Reika, who heard the longing of the priestess. The other world. I'm soliciting test subjects for my research on dreams as the border between life and death. It was difficult to find someone who could speak clearly about their dreams, but I found someone who seemed to know of the other world. Man has had the same dream for several months in a row. The dream is as I described below. He notices he is standing before a small snow-covered shrine. He has seen the shrine before, but he only vaguely remembers it. He has, however, heard of a shrine like it in his hometown. From deep in the shrine, he hears the voice of a girl he left behind. Beckoned by the voice, each day he goes a little further into the dream shrine. Up to this point, this is a plausible dream generated from the desire for home and love. Next is where his statement becomes interesting. An ancient ceremony is held there, and one can meet the deceased. There is a huge cave deep in the shrine, and a river flows there. This is a large pit, and the base of it is the sea. This statement is clearly about the other world, particularly the underworld. According to this story, there is a legend in his hometown about the other world and dreams, and much of his dream congrues with it. I recorded his talk on his dreams for four days compiled below. He is from the Mutsu region, where they have an ancient legend about a sea called the Sea of Endless Night that exists in the mountains. There, they have many legends related to dreams. For example, dreams are called the Rift and traverse the border between the other world and the real world. If you continue to have nightmares, the deceased apparently return from the underworld. The shrine exists in order to prevent the nightmares. There resides a priestess who sleeps in the rift and will take on the nightmares. The voice he hears may be that of the priestess that sleeps in the shrine. The morning after, the day I recorded his testimonial on the gramophone, he suddenly disappeared, leaving behind all his luggage. Did he go to see the woman from his hometown? The earring he left is made of echo stone, and since ancient times it's been said to communicate thought. Perhaps I can use it to modify the crystal receiver. Huh. There's a film... What? <laughs> How am I going to play the film in Ray's house? The voice on the cassette was talking about a place where you can meet the dead. Could it be inside that manor? I want to be with him again. I want to be with him again. That's what Rekha's voice said on the radio. Girl, how are you only just now figuring this out? Everyone was talking to you about this. Yeah. Parasite Eve opening cinematic. Let's go. Looks like a really rotten tattoo. Hmm, 
All right, let's see what we can do. I assume we just have to go upstairs and sleep. So let's go do that. Kettle Chip says new facial expressions. Indeed. Huh? Is that Takibawa? That's what it looks like. Cool camera angle. Not allowed to save, huh? If I need to... I, I, I... She basically says, I don't know what will happen if I meet you again. You, is it okay if I'm the one that lived? Or is it okay for me to go on living? How does the how does the radio work? Have I taken it into the dream? Who was that? Was that you? I guess so. I guess we're here again. Let's check stuff. File. Other nope. Nothing there. Data. Nope. I guess I was able to take the film into the dream, though, so that's convenient. Notes. Nope. I don't remember how to use the Spirit Stone radio. Mochicha131 says, hi, how's the game going? Uh, it's good. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. I want to... Let's see. She said, you, I want to meet with you again. I want to hold you tight. Oh, okay, here we go. I guess we don't need to use the Spirit Stone radio at all. All right, let's go and collect our, our things. Oh, it looks like the radio gets louder as we go to certain areas. Is this like some hint or something? Oh. So she says, uh, deep inside me, I hold the voices uh, at pain and memories of so many, but this is my voice. Please don't forget what my voice sounds like. My pain, my voice, my thoughts. Interesting. Uh, which way am I going? This way. Okay, okay, we pinged another one. I guess we're getting the mirror pieces, that's my guess. I, oh, uh, crap, I need to remember to go pick up the, uh, the other film so that I don't forget. I also need to save here because I couldn't save outside of the dream. Do that real quick. Okay. All right. I think this is the. I think we're in the last chapter, though. Chapter thirteen. That makes sense. Okay. There we go. Let's see if I can translate this.
Uh, I didn't want to go. I wanted to stay with you. I'm here. I'm here. Mirror fragment one, okay. Uh, where else is there? Let's see. Not up there. Let's see. I don't think it's gonna be in there. Where was the? Yeah, these are the places I need to go. I think. Because that's those are these have so far all been the places that are like relevant to her and where she's saying, "Oh no, I have to worry about the candle still." You gotta be kidding me! I gotta get my hustle on. Oh boy. Okay, perfect. That was like accurate to what she was saying, basically. It's just these are my memories. My memories are still here. Oh, this isn't the way to get here. Oops. I have to go up the stairs. Should just be able to go up and over, right? I'm not gonna pick that up yet. I'll pick it up when I come back out of here. doesn't actually seem like there's any ghosts here. Let me open the door. Why can't I open the door? Am I just at the wrong spot? The heck? What is going on? Why can't I open the door? It's just like straight up not interactable. I think I need to go in there. Do I not? It sure seemed like it. Oh, you know what? I probably have to go around the other side. That's annoying. case, yes, I will take this purifying light because I have no reason to go the other way. Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, oops, I forget that I actually have to climb down. I can't just hold the button. Ooh, why is performance checking all of a sudden? Let's see. One moment while we correct this issue. I think the uh, the game just needs a little break. It needs me to alt tab out of it every every once in a while. Really kills the groove, but it's all right. We're dealing with old technology here.
Oop. There you go. Uh... Okay. This should be better for us. <laughs> much better. Much better. Okay. Let us see. I guess I can grab now the film just so that we have it. Ugh. One of these guys again. Or not, I guess. And that's fine by me, I guess. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me figure out where we need to go. Uh... I need to get to the other side of this, which requires going up into the kimono room again. Which requires me to go through here. So we'll go up there. Where, Where is the, like, the spooky ritual room? That's the room I'm looking for. It was called, like, the wooden room, I think, or something. Where is it? Uh, that's the blind room. Hearth room, futon room, second floor maybe. It's really far from where I want to be. I think I have to like go through the, uh, I have to go under the floor and stuff to get to it, don't I? Under the floor, wooden figure room. Okay, so this is the direction I wanna go anyway. All right, cool. So we just trundle along in this direction, I guess. I got herbal meds. I got type 14. I got at least, what, 30, basically, pieces of type 13, so, or type 14, so that's not bad. Yeah, I'm definitely going to just have to go through the back here. Not bad. Let me in. If there's a woman in here, I'm not going to fight her. It's just not happening. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to be so irritated if it, like, forces me back through <laughs> the other way and I have to come all the way back here. There we go. <laughs> All right. Uh, even though I know that I can't see you again, even though it's already been said that I can't, it's already been chosen for me, I still just want to see you one more time. Just one more time. Here's so we already know what that is. Okay, thank God. <laughs> All right, now we just have to go to the wooden figure room, which is like right on the other side of this, I think. All right, we were efficient. At least this is my guess, right? The wooden figure room is the other place where she was like sacrificed. That's the remaining area that we haven't checked yet. We're just basically going to the places that were important to her, or well, like are important to her story, I should say. All right, uh, which way do I go? Is it this way? I think so. Yes. I'm enjoying being able to walk around without there being like literally any ghosts to bother me. That's pretty exciting. I don't know what that sound was. It sounds like a body falling. There we go.
even though you kept coming back uh, over and over again, your dreams were the ones I couldn't see. Uh, what is with performance right now? You, I'm... Tattoo Diary. I endured the piercing of the soul so people can wash away their feelings. The pain of the holly engraved on me shows me many dreams. Many kinds of pain and love. I take on the pain of being left alone, the pain of living. But these pains, these pains I bear, they do not fade, but are engraved, somewhere hidden and remain. Of the various pains, the more vivid ones ache most intensely. Nobody will take my holly, it is mine alone. I engrave my feelings, my holly, in these mirrors and break them here because they are my feelings alone. But if it were in my power, I would see him one more time. Oh. Rei Kakuze. I want to meet you. Oh, it teleported me. All right. Uh, really quick. Let's try to restart one more time. Maybe avoid this issue. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, again, it just happens sometimes. It's just one of those things. And once we're done with this, we won't have to do it again because the rest of the games will show up on Steam. Yay. All right. There we go. All righty, much better. Oh yeah, this is running, running better already, I could feel it. All right, let's save our game. Move forward. Oop, there we go. And I guess we just go through here, right? Oh no, spooky ghost vibe. I mean, really, the game just seems to, to get a little bit uncomfortable when this is happening. It's really just this, like when there's the overlay on the screen, and then it just seems to go away eventually. Metal Chip says, getting uh, PDS to work made me appreciate the fact that I'm streaming this. Uh, you are, oh yeah, you're playing Panzer Dragoon Saga. It's like my favorite JRPG. I hope you're having a good time with it because it is one of my favorite games ever. The nuances of game preservation are tough, but once you get them down, it's just a kind of a, I don't want to say easy, but uh, it's just kind of all the same. You learn how to troubleshoot one bug, you learn how to troubleshoot them all. weirdly clear enemy model because they were like clipped into the wall there interesting 
Uh, let's see. Do I need anything else? We're in the final hour, aren't we? Uh, let's see. Do I have a Do I have a stone mirror? I have a stone mirror. I have sacred water. I have film. I have some film. I wish I had all of Kay's film and all of Niku's film, but it's fine. Wait, can she not go in here? What the heck? Oh, I have to put the mirror. I have to put the mirror in. Dumb. Right, so holding back the screen says open. We can enter. I'm in, I think, right? The final section, so this should be it. Nothing else. Okay, and then the candles don't matter once I go past here because it just becomes spooky no matter what. So, we will hit save. This might be our last save. I'm getting excited. I'm, I'm getting stoked. I'm looking forward to the ending. I just want to see how the game wraps up, right? I think overall, uh, these games have been a really interesting trilogy. And while I don't think that they are anywhere near on the same level as something like, you know, yeah, from now on, there's no going back, is there? Yeah, this is point no return. Um, you know, these games are not anywhere near as, as final hour, the abyss of the horizon. Hell yeah. Um, you know, as much as these are cool games, they're they're not anywhere near, you know, the quality level of like a, you know, a Silent Hill or even a Resident Evil, but they are cool. They're neat. They're trying to do their own thing. Maybe a tiny, type 14, you can do better than that. You can give me type 90. Uh, this is before like the final boss. What are you doing, game? Uh, but what was I saying? Uh, you know, th these games are definitely budget titles. They're definitely a little bit half-baked in a lot of ways. But overall, I I like them quite a bit. I think they're interesting. Uh, and, and they really build up to something. What in the world? Huh. Oh, I guess I can just ride the cart down. Or not. Let's do what we can here. I mean, we're this has got to be like the final boss, right? <laughs> Wait, this is this is all the hallmarks of a fatal frame final boss battle. Why does it feel like the stairs were so much longer for Miku? Like, I don't remember Kay having to walk down all these and having to do this. What the heck? really cinematic for the final fight. Oh my god. I am not fighting you. What? Get off of me. Oh, is it just going endlessly? 
Is that what is happening? I can't really tell. That's what it seems like, yeah. Well, that's not Reiko, though. What is going on? I forgot that it's like faster to walk in the viewfinder. Okay, more are following me. What the heck? Get out of here. I am not gonna waste my, my film on these. Because I really don't have much film and I just have to, I have to have, use what I have. Get out of here. Leave me alone. Tattoo Diary 3. I'll read that in a second. I just want to leave. <laughs> am I able to? I am. Perfect. What? Okay, I guess I can't. I guess I have to fight them. The most annoying ghost in the game. What the? Yeah, I only have type 14 and, and type 50. This final fight is gonna suck. Ugh. And I have like no healing items either. This is gonna be really rough. Let's read that note. File, it was Purple Diary 3, I think, right? Uh, nope, we already read that one. Was it Tattooed Diary? Oh, Tattooed Diary 3, okay. I'll read that. I had a dream about him. In the rift, that hell of Holly, he came before me. I, as I was to be lowered into the abyss, the mistress does not notice it's my dream after all. He extends his hand, I do too. Just as her fingers are about to touch, the holly abates just a bit. I didn't lose myself, but we couldn't touch. Even I, who have been engraved with the holly of so many people, even I might still be able to hold, uh, be able to dream of him in my eternal sleep. All right, that's interesting. All right, final boss time, let's go. Wait. 
What the heck? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Making me go through that fight. I have so little ammo. It's going to be so bad. All right. Um... I guess I'm not too bad on like healing items. <laughs> okay, cool. Thanks game. I guess they're giving me health, which is good. I have a stone mirror. I have a bunch of heals. I have some ammunition now. I uh, should be able to deal with it, but uh, We'll see what we can make happen. Mo mitakunai. I don't want to see. I don't want to dream. Oh, cool. Physics objects in a PS2 game. That's kind of neat. All right, we're close. I think this is it. I think this is the fight. Is that supposed to be you or is that Kaname? Luka. Are they the same person? Is this another like cycle of reincarnation story like the past two have been? This is going to be a long fight, I think, because we don't have any type zero film. Or any type of, ooh, that was spooky. that music. This 
Okay, maybe it won't be a super long fight. Oh no, I'm in this. I just have to... Oh! Wow, that's an instant kill. Do I just have to run and avoid her? When does this wear off? Please tell me this wears off. Okay. Woo! this again. Is the solution just to run in a straight line so she can't get to me? I don't think I'm that poorly off right now. We should be able to do this. Assuming that she does not manage to hit me. Uh, I mean, with the uh, with the super murder attack, you know, I should be able to do it. No, 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 no. That attack. As long as she does not get me with that, I think I'm good. it and it's one more Oh no. Did I get a fatal frame? No, I did. Nice. <laughs> it wasn't a very good one, but I did. All right, we just run in a straight line. This is a really cool fight. Like the way that the memories are projecting on the wall and stuff. Kind of neat. Definitely more cinematic and interesting than the last two, the boss fights of the last two games. We did it. We did it. Congrats. <laughs> we beat Fatal Frame 3. Uh, full disclosure, if this starts playing licensed music like the last game, it will be muted immediately. So if the game audio cuts out, that is why. But 
uh, we can use that moment to talk about the game. Interesting. Actually, kind of neat. actually a surprisingly poetic ending. Okay. All right, so <laughs> the sound has to be muted because it's playing a uh, song. But this is pretty interesting. That's not a super compelling argument. Ray stands there and says, you gave me so much and you were so great and you were always beside me because you were beside me. Like, yes, <laughs> that is why. That is why he was beside you, to be beside you. <laughs> uh, this song is peak 2005 J-Rock. <laughs> Kettle says her tats look way cooler here. Yeah, they do. They look much cooler than before.
so wait, is Miku gonna wake up? Is is what's his face dead forever? Okay, that guy really got the short end of the stick. The Amakura guy, that blows. I understand what it's trying to say here, where it's like, it's up to you to survive so that I can have my memory, like, live on. But <laughs> when you read it through the context of a spooky video game, it's kind of like he's saying, it's now your job to be immortal <laughs> so that I can never die. All right. Song over. Audio back. She finally woke up without without a tattoo, without bruises. Good for her. Is this really the ending though? Like is it gonna cut to black here? Are we not gonna see Miku wake up? Are we not gonna see Kay come back? Damn. <laughs> All right. Uh That's wild. Uh that Miku's just gone. <laughs> All right. Screw off game. <laughs> we made it to D rank again. Uh Um so yeah, we uh we we beat it. We beat Fatal Frame 1 through 3. On the PS, uh, the PS2. Congratulations, everyone. Uh, we will pick this series back up when, uh, when the, uh, PC versions hit, I guess. Uh, for context, I am not going to replay these. <laughs> I'm not going to go back and get, like, the hard mode endings i'm not gonna you know see what goes on as far as i know ending one in each game is just canon so it, it i don't even know if it matters for fatal frame 4 fatal frame 4 i think it's doing its own thing um but yeah overall i mean i really i dug this for the most part i thought this was a great game uh this game actually kind of retroactively made me like the rest of the series more <laughs> Uh, not that I didn't like the rest of the series, but like Fatal Frame 1 was like kind of janky, not amazing, just kind of a proof of concept. Fatal Frame 2 is like the next step up and it gets there, but it's still like a little bit weak in a lot of regards, right? This game takes all of those different pieces and puts them together and then like re-examines them and is like, what, what do these three games mean in relation to each other? Um, and yeah, I appreciated that. I thought that was... That was really cool, especially for a trilogy like this that came out in such quick succession uh, at such a weird time uh, for video games. So, yeah, overall, I mean, Fatal Frame, Fatal Frame was sick. That was a cool, cool set of games, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy that we, uh, we played them, ultimately. So, yeah. Uh, I don't have uh, I don't have too much left to do. Uh, I think tomorrow, uh, you know, we'll continue with some survival horror on the channel. Uh, that just kind of seems like the direction we want to go in. So look forward to the Dead Space remake. Uh, I don't know if I will be uh, ready to stream super early tomorrow. It might need to be like five or six ish. If there is a stream, uh, I will keep everyone in the loop uh but we'll start the dead space remake then and uh just kind of keep trucking with this sort of pattern that we've done uh i am going to raid andrew's channel so you're all gonna go watch andrew now bye everyone this was a delight